In fact, those who have chronic medical conditions such as diabetes, hypertension, high cholesterol, etc., are at high risk of complications or severe complications from COVID-19 disease. Therefore, it is in fact even more important for these individuals to receive the COVID-19 vaccine so that they can be protected against COVID-19 disease that may be detrimental to their health. We don't think that the vaccine is going to be a problem. In general, because this is such a new vaccine, it's an mRNA vaccine, really out of an abundance of caution, we are saying to people, um, think about just holding off and getting pregnant until you've completed the vaccine and allow like a one month um, buffer period. Um, I would actually say that if you're thinking of getting pregnant, it's a good idea to get vaccinated before becoming pregnant. Because once you're pregnant, um, we are not sure that it's safe to vaccinate you. So that's nine months when you're pregnant where we would not be able to vaccinate you. So it's really a good idea to get vaccinated before you become pregnant. Many people have allergic conditions such as mild childhood asthma or allergic rhinitis. And this is not an issue in terms of receiving COVID-19 vaccine. However, for some individuals with more severe allergic reactions or history of anaphylaxis, we would advise these individuals to defer the vaccination. If you're not sure, please consult your doctor as to whether your previous history of allergy is mild or severe. So what is a severe allergic reaction? If after taking any or any medication and you have, for example, uh, face, facial swelling, swelling of the lips, difficulty breathing, or feeling very faint because you have a change in blood pressure, these might be signs that you have a severe allergic reaction. For these individuals, we would advise them not to take the vaccine at this point in time and to also consult your doctor if you're not sure of your eligibility for the vaccine and your doctor will be able to advise you.